So to create a dashboard in Salesforce, you'll need some underlying reports previously created, and then it's as simple as going to the Dashboards tab from any application inside of Salesforce. You can also access dashboards from the App Launcher. And from the App Launcher, you can either search for dashboards or select View All and find dashboards there as well. And that takes you to the dashboards home screen with any recent dashboards that you've accessed. And you can see any dashboards already in your org. To create a new dashboard, just click New Dashboard. And then you have a pop-up that gives you the option of entering the name and the folder location for where you're saving this new dashboard. And remember, if you have this in a private folder, then other users won't be able to access that dashboard. So you can select a public folder instead if you would wish. I'm just gonna keep this in a private one for just demo purposes and click Create. And now we have our dashboard. It's a blank canvas and it has this grid layout here for various number of columns and rows. So now it's just a matter of adding one or multiple dashboard components to our dashboard canvas. So I'm going to click the plus component button and the component has to have an underlying source report and depending on what report format you select, you'll have different dashboard components available. So I'm gonna select a tabular report and that's the first and easiest type of report format. It's just a table and the only supported dashboard component would be that of a table, a lightning table, and you can further adjust the display of these by the properties down below, and depending on what dashboard component you select, these will change accordingly. But I'm just going to add this table to the dashboard and then add additional components. A summary report is a good one that will allow for many different dashboard components. I'll select that you'll notice that all but the stacked bar and stacked column components are available. So as you select, it gives you a preview of what that'll look like. And there's donut, funnel, gauge. And as well, as I mentioned, as you make changes to the dashboard component, this will change. You can set, for example, on a gauge, these different red, yellow, and green amounts. So let's say that instead of 100 we want to go up to 10,000 and then we can have our segment ranges and you can also change the naming uh, title subtitle and as well change the appearance through the component theme as well you can click and drag these on the canvas you can resize as well if you want to have something take up more screen real estate you can do so and it automatically adjusts accordingly let me add another component here the final report format that's useful and will give you all the dashboard components would be a matrix report Matrix reports are grouped by row and column. So because of those multiple groupings, that gives you the ability to also have stacked bar charts and stacked column charts as well. So once again, you can resize these to your heart's content. You can rearrange, etc. Once you're done with your dashboard, just simply click Save. And then we'll click Done in order to see this from the end user perspective. And you can always refresh, subscribe, and so this has been a really simple dashboard, really basic. You can find a lot more dashboard examples on the App Exchange as well. If you found this video helpful, please do like, subscribe, comment, smash the bell, etc. You know the routine. And until next time, I'll see you in the cloud.